Good afternoon. My name is John McWilliams. What grade do I want to teach? I want to teach third grade. What part of math do I like the most and why? The part of math I like the most is the rationality of it. The rules are pretty solid without any, without many exceptions to them. What part of math do I dislike the most and why? Uh, dislike upper level math, geometry, algebra, anything higher than that I'm just not a fan of. Uh, what topic did I choose to discuss and why? I chose to do uh, permuta permutations with repetition and we're going to use word rearrangement rearrangements to look at that. I picked this topic because I thought it was very interesting especially the large number of rearrangements that can be done with one word. So what age grade am I going to teach this topic to? Uh, I'm targeting this to middle school age kids, I guess, 7th or 8th grade. Uh, so let's start looking at some examples and some explanations of how it works. Uh, as you see up here, we're going to use factorials. And factorial is a function that multiplies a number by every number below it until you get to... Uh, until you get to 1. For example, 3 factorial is going to be equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 6. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is 6. And so we will use this formula to do the permutations with repetition of word rearrangements. Uh, this formula is going to show us how many, how many times you can, how many ways you can rearrange uh, one word with so many letters in it. So I'm going to choose a simple one to begin, uh, a three-letter word to show our three-letter permutations. So the one I'm going to pick is dog. So dog has three letters in it. And so when we look at those three letters, we'll count each one of those letters one time. One, two, three. That gives us three. And we're going to use our factorial that we looked at over here. So our factorial is... 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6. So we know this is going to be 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 6. So 6 tells me that there are 6 different ways I can rearrange the letters in the word dog. So for a little bit more difficult word, let's do switch. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six letters in switch. So our six factorial is going to be, I'll write it underneath, six times five times four times three times two times one, which if you multiply it all out is going to equal uh, 720. So there are 720 different variations you can do with the word switch in it. So now when we repeat, when words have repeated letters in it, it's going to change up the formula a little bit. The next one we'll use is O Canada. C A N D A. So we see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six letters in the word Canada. So there's our six factorial. But we're going to have to do something different because we have repeated word letters. We have A, A, and A. So we'll see that we have three letters that repeat in the word Canada. So when we do this, we're going to have to multiply the number of total words by the number of the three factorial. So our, uh, so our formula for doing this, the formula we're going to look at is going to be uh, uh, over here. Uh, N factorial divided by uh, 
A factorial times B factorial times C factorial and so on down the line, depending on how many repeated repeated letters we have. So we know from this from switch that six is seven hundred and twenty. And we know from dog three is going to be uh, six. So we divide seven hundred and twenty by six and we will get 120. Okay, now let's look at a word that has multiple repetitions in it. This one's going to be a, a little bit more difficult to do. And since we're doing mathematics, Since we're doing mathematics, uh, let's count the word, the number of letters in mathematics. So remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's going to give us eleven factorial. How many repeated letters do we have? Let's see. We have uh, we have two M's. We have two A's, and we have two T's. So we've got six, uh, or well, we've got two of each repeated letter. So we're going to, using our formula up here, we have N, N factorial, which is 11 factorial. Now we will repeat it by saying two factorial times Two factorial times two factorial. And that is going to equal, you're going to need a calculator for this one, it's going to equal 4,989,000 uh, 600. So there are almost 5 million ways that you can rearrange all the words in mathematics. So it's you see, as we get the higher factorials, then we're going to need a calculator to figure those out because you don't want to multiply 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times and all the way down to 1. Uh, that, would be, that would be a little time consuming and a little difficult once you started getting into the division to uh, get such a big number. So if... <laughs> That's going to be one of the problems we have is when we get into the large numbers that we need to have uh, probably uh, use a calculator. Uh, one of the other problems is miscounting the number of letters. So we have to slow down, make sure we count each letter, make sure we find all of our matching uh, repeated letters, and... Uh, like I said, once you get to those big factorials, you're going to need a calculator to figure all that out. I can't do it in my head. Or that uh, It's hard enough doing the smaller ones for me. But uh, so a game that you can play is basically what we did. Uh, get with a partner or two and just select words, random words out of the dictionary, however you want to decide. And then each word one of you has to problem solve and figure out what exactly uh, the number of permutations you can make out of a, out of a certain word. So uh, the last question that is asked is what do I think about online learning for primary grades? Uh, I don't really think online learning is a good idea. I think we saw from COVID how uh, online learning was not effective and we've lost two years uh, worth of education during that time because we tried to do it online and the students wouldn't pay attention. Nobody was making them pay attention and and learn the material. So I don't I am I don't think a primary primarily on time online learning, uh, especially for primary grades, works well. College it works well because kids are already grown up enough to understand that they need to 
pay attention and watch and things like that, and they don't have to have someone standing over the shoulder like they do in the primary grades. So I hope this made sense, and I hope I get a decent grade on it. Thank you.